Hell, so he doubled up on his attachments, Vaughn. Why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about that? You know, I really like the at this particular attachment, a select fire switch. You can change between auto and burst modes, and one way that I really like to use it is at long range, I'll actually burst, and at short range, I'll go to auto. Yep, absolutely. It makes complete sense. Uh, I got a little bit of time with it as well. As we see, Karma go down for the drop shot. Almost got a double kill with it. But uh, he, there he is, he's calling in the UAV. And we just saw, uh, he picked up the assist on that kill. Now assist add to the score streaks here in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Uh, what was the, kind of the decision behind that? So there's certain score streaks that you really want to be able to reward players for using and activating. And those are particularly the ones like, the, like this one be, because these are not actually generating kills for you. But if that thing's up, you're seeing that, that assist points for using any kind of support-based score streak. Got it. So the UAV will actually give you some points towards your next score streak. That's exactly right. And we see right. Karma picking up another kill right there and spots another one. Looks like he had a, a foot in the way right there as he went prone. And let's take a look at the overhead map and see where Karma is spawning back in. Looks like he's going to run into a player oh, right here. No. And he did. It was nice from the team Germany. But Envious still has the lead at the moment. They have 18 kills on the board, starting to create some separation. 18 to 13, the SDC is in second, and that is Team Prophecy. And Twiz now for Envious is on a three kill streak. Why don't we take a look at his loadout? He's rocking the M8A1 as well. Uh, seems like he has, is that a bouncing Betty there and a smoke grenade maybe? Or is that maybe a flash grenade? Looks like a flash grenade, so uh, looks like Twiz is kind of going with that classic reflex Interesting fight. to see him burst at this range, actually. I would think that you'd want to get in there. Those guys are such precision shooters, though. Man, this is such a great player, Twiz. Yep, yep. Twiz is definitely solid, and now Envious has taken the lead even uh, more. Knows. Why don't we actually take a listen in to Team Envy, Vaughn, and see how well they're communicating. Yeah, he's next to us, he's next to us. Yeah, he's right to your left. Got him. Another one down low, another one down low. Down low, third building. That's still me, still me. He's still me, still me. Nah, it's not. Nah. Big kill. I've got UAV, but I'm weak. Throw it up, throw it up. And, and you'll work for a counter. There's one and another one, uh, top turret over here. Oh, next week, next week, next week. And now, um, All right, Vaughn, so Envious definitely had some great communication right there. Two minutes left to go. That is probably why they have such a good lead. Uh, you know, the communication is oh so crucial. And in COD casting mode, we can actually put you into the game with the players with one touch of a button, which is a, one of my favorite features, if not my favorite in COD casting mode. And it looks like Twiz just missed a player who came up behind him, and it was Optic Ray. And let's see how Optic is doing at the moment. They are your FBI's team, and it looks like they are kind of slacking behind. They're down by about seven kills. Not too far off the, the pace, but it looks like Prophecy is now coming back. Vaughn, Shane has oh. a six kill streak. Why don't we take a look at him? Absolutely, one of the best ways to figure out what player is really hot right now, pulling up picture in picture, seeing that kill streak column and knowing exactly where he does. Absolutely. Oh, maybe, did we just curse him right there? Well, that happens to me all the time when I swap the players. I curse him, and look at this. Shane is fully loaded with score oh, streaks right now. He's got the death machine out. This should be really entertaining. Yeah, the death machine is just uh, massive in this game. It does some super damage to the body of enemy soldiers, but you know what I like to use it for? Uh, I actually like to take out score streaks with it, because it, it's brutal. I mean, if there's a score streak in the sky and I can take it out with the death machine, I'm gonna do it. Um, it's, it really fires so many bullets and it's kind of absolutely devastating, those score streaks, and it's absolutely devastating right there as we see Shane picking up the kill on Big Timer from Optic. Envious is still in the lead by four. We're headed into the last minute of the game now, Vaughn. And uh, why don't we take a look at the picture in picture again? And let's see if we can hop on board with somebody who's on fire. Looks like Gunch is on a three kill streak. Now, why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about Gunchy's class? Yeah, you can see. yeah. So, so Gunchy, once again, this select fire seems to be a very popular attachment with these pro players. And he's got the looks like he's got the red dot sight there, and he's going to aim up and put some targets down. He's been playing pretty good all night. All the players have been doing a great job. Yeah, and it looks like there are 19 seconds left to go. And there's a care package there for Gunchy. He's only down by three kills. He has a care package and a UAV. Choosing not to go ahead and call it in, his strategy might be to go ahead and try and just work around with his gunplay. Six seconds left, only two kills separating our teams. Can they do it as we're on board with Gunchy? Can he catch back up? Oh, oh so close. 42-41, uh, what a great one game. up right there. 
And uh, it looks like that was so close at the end. Gunty picked up that final kill, but it just wasn't <laughs> enough. If one of his teammates was able to help out, they would have came back and tied it. But Envious is going to take this one. And let's take a look at the scoreboard here as we see the fast going map. Huge we actually uh, checked it out. And it looks like Raiden has a sniper rifle. Oh, it's man. The DSR-50. Let's definitely stay on board with him uh, right up there. Yeah, the bat. absolutely. He's got that ballistic CPU on the back of that thing. And that's going to reduce his sway. I just love the way that thing looks. Yeah, and he's going to throw <laughs> a combat <laughs> axe. YouTube money. Oh, yes. <laughs> so now he's going to go ahead and walk over here and try and go. Oh, oh that nice was Nice shot on Merc. Right off the bat, now look gave at, us a, a nice thing to look at there. Yeah, so this is really cool. Now, if you look at the score panel at the top of the screen, when guys are in the zone, you'll see exactly how many players are in there. You'll see that little arrow indicating three players in the zone right now for STC, and that thing's going to be moving around. And that's how we're using the score panel to let you know the state of the game mode. Right, so as we see on Raiden's screen, the hard point is in the office here. And as we take a look on the picture-in-picture -picture overhead map, it looks like this is just chaos here in this area, but it looks like the Europeans have actually taken great control. We see on the picture in picture that all these players are on the objective. So you have three players right now. It's there's an icon there, Vaughn. So uh, that actually tells us that they're, you're on the objective in right. picture in picture mode. That icon is specifically good for indicating how many people are in that zone, so you know who to pay attention to. And it's just one of the many features of picture identified. in picture and how we use objectives, the, that objective column, and indicating the state of the game for players. Yeah, now Swanee is on a four kill streak. We'll swap over to him. And it looks like he's calling in a four streak right there. It's a lightning oh, strike. Oh, nice hit. Two hit yep. lightning strike kill right there. That's right. So he picked up two kills. And now he's on a six kill streak. And look at that shot. What a shot that was. Oh, so dirty. Twiz, too. Twiz was scoped in with a sniper rifle. Not paying much attention. He just got it from behind. Eight kills in a row now for Swanee. And finally he goes down. And it looks like our North American team has actually taken the lead once again. Let's go ahead and swap over to them. Uh, Toby, who's actually filling in for Proofy on Team Envious. And he's actually European, too, playing with the North Americans. He's uh, doing some work right now. He's got an LMG firing from the hip. You seem to like that LMG. That's awesome. It's a very nice LMG. You know, in hardpoint, you get one point per second your team occupies that zone, Hastro. Yeah. So this could turn around at a moment's notice. Absolutely. The Europeans are on it right now, now the North Americans. So you see how quickly they can move. Uh, the momentum changes so fast. That's what I'm trying to get at here in hardpoint. And the game is really close still. This is only a 13-point deficit at the moment with three minutes and 45 seconds left to go. So plenty of time on the clock. And this is actually a very close game, Vaughn. This is an absolute beast of an LMG, this LSAT. It's actually probably my favorite LMG. And uh, Toby here is just going to do work nonstop, I think, laying down shell after shell. Yeah, he's got Scavenger as one of his perks. Why don't we take a look here at the options screen in picture in picture mode and Codcaster uh, in Codcasting mode. So I'm able to actually go through here and remove elements of the HUD, change the way the screen looks. So right now I have the perks turned off. But so we can't really tell what Toby is using on his class in terms of perks, but immediately I can just turn it on, and here you go. Yeah, there Toby's, are Toby's perks. Toby's, Ghost. Yeah, Ghost Scavenger and Dead Silence. He's running pretty traditional setup, I think, for, for Toby, but it's really nice to use this feature to see how players are equipped up. Yeah, why don't we actually talk about the perks for a second? Uh, Ghost, for example. Uh, tell me a little bit about... Uh, what's going on with the ghost perk? Yeah, so in Black Ops 2 yeah, multiplayer, the there are no perks that modify your weapons. You have to take an attachment to modify a gun. Ghosts only modify you. Perks only modify you, the player. In this case, in order to get the benefit of ghosts, you actually be, have to be out there running and gunning and moving. Yeah, so ghost does not... Uh, basically, you're not able to be seen by UAV, just like Ghost was in Black Ops, but you have to be moving to get that perk to work. Right, it's really important for us to try to keep the game, pushing the action, getting players together. People love the fast-paced gameplay, and a lot of the game mechanics have been set up in tune to reward that kind of play behavior. Absolutely, and now Toby is still doing work with this thing. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. And he's 11 and 9 right now with an LMG. That's actually not that bad. How do you like the design of the new scoreboard? Oh, I mean, the scoreboard's amazing here. So, you know, as a, a caster, it's very important to be able to uh, show information to the audience as quickly as possible. And I know all of you at home are actually quite appreciative of, of this as well. You can see how much time is left in the game. Uh, the score, what team is in the lead. You can actually see how many players are on the objective right now uh, for the SEALs team as they all just got taken off and now it's contested. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just very informational. Love the score panel as a caster. It's very useful. 
I was really surprised right there that Toby didn't check that lane before. He saw that contested icon. There was only one spot that player could be. I think maybe he's having a little too much fun right yeah, now. Yeah, he's having too much fun. He's actually probably still getting used to hard point. This is so down. new first time that these guys have actually kind of gotten their hands on the game mode and been able to play. So let's see here. Looks like we're going to go ahead and cut back to the picture in picture. I'm going to go ahead and see what players are playing the objective. Big Timer is on a three kill streak and he's playing the objective right now. He's perks for lightweight toughness and extreme conditioning. He gets taken out. He's got the MP stuff. That was a nice grab right there. He did have a sitting right on that edge, checking all of his lanes in and out of that hard point. Really good play, actually. Yeah, now he gets taken out again. He spawns back in. Let's see where he is in relation to the hard point. He's going to run into a couple players here, Vaughn, as he moves to the office. He also has a player flanking him from behind, but he makes it into the building just in time and now he's got still got the laser sight attachment on it yeah and it looks like somebody just made a big play let's see if we can find them let's pick out quiz at the moment really big play right here for the combined u.s team those seals 136 84 right now with 20 seconds to play awesome awesome game really fun to watch very good good job to all of our players yeah so the north americans are going to take it on 143 on the board right now they're still putting points up so the Europeans took game one. Now the Americans take a game, or take, take two games, actually. So uh, yeah, it's been interesting so far. What a great thing. Thank you, everyone, to the stream.